Well, I really wasn't looking for a truck, but the, the truck found me. Here's my new to me 1967 Ford F250 with an inline six. I believe it's a 300 cubic inch legendary engine with a four speed manual on the floor. I am thrilled. Come take a look. Do a little walk around here before I start cleaning on it. This is exactly as I got it. Ooh, yeah. It's going to clean up nice. Tires are actually nice. They're not dry rotted. They're kind of new. Surprising. Paint's not great in areas, but whatever. And then just one rot spot, which sucks, but not the end of the world. Let's pop the hood here. And line six, dead battery. <laughs> All mechanical pretty much, which is the way it should be. Look how much room I can stand in here. Can literally stand in this freaking engine bay. It's amazing. Interior. Seats in nice shape. Just dirty. Everything's dirty, but nothing that can't be cleaned. Dash is in nice shape. I'm absolutely loving this thing. I've literally not even touched it since I just got it back. Oh, and the best part, 79,000 original miles. That is awesome. Oh, well, there she is. Let's get to work. Well, it's Sunday morning, and I've been out here since 6 a.m. already, working on this truck. I've already taken the old starter out, because I realized it definitely needed to be replaced after checking it off the truck. It's dead, so I got a new one, or remanufactured, and two new brake, brake cables for uh, the battery. And have the old battery on a tinder right now, even though it's pretty much shot. I'm just doing it cuz so let's hook this starter up and see if it'll turn over Okay, the time's finally here after getting a starter snapping one of the mounting holes off Taking it to uh, Another advance realizing they don't have one going to another advance across town getting it back and realizing it's actually too long <laughs> Going to O'Reilly's, going to another O'Reilly's. I finally have the right starter in place. Jumper cable's hooked up, and we're gonna see if this thing turns over. All I want is, is for it to turn over. I'm not looking to start it, just want it to turn over. Let's put it in neutral. Let's see. It turns over. <laughs> That's awesome. We're good. We're good. That is all I needed to hear. The starter works. Sweet. So now it's time to go get uh, cleaned up and go out to lunch with my wife. Date night or date day Sunday. So <sighs> next thing to come, I'm going to pull this uh, hose here and um, or some something like here and put a gas tank right here so it gets I know it's clean gas and see if it'll run yes pumped I got the Jeep hooked up with the jumper cables to the truck and I got a small gas tank hooked up here fuel line hopefully that works I hope hope it's secure enough that it turns over and let's see what we get here guys nervous
think it's gonna take a little bit to get fuel. I'm gonna pull the choke to halfway. Okay, not yet. Not yet. Let's give it some time. Let's see what she got. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> Guys, we got a running engine. We got a good truck. Yes! Get gas. Oh my gosh, I'm thrilled. That is awesome. And she is running beautifully. Quiet, smooth. I'm thrilled, absolutely thrilled. Uh, I'd had the choke on earlier and I, I did not take it off, so I took it off and it's running perfect. Alternator works, it even looks newer. Someone replaced it. I need to replace this battery because it is definitely dead. Uh, but I'm gonna leave it running for a good while. I'm gonna get nice and warm, let this thing drink some gas and see how, uh, how she does. What a success. I am so freaking thrilled. This thing is awesome. Let's see how it sounds back here. It does sound like it has a little bit of a miss, actually. The exhaust on this thing. There it is. Maybe not, I don't know, but <laughs> for a day and a half or really just a day's worth of work, dang, can't beat it guys. Awesome, awesome success. It's Monday after work and I'm back here working on the F-250 and I am draining the old gas out of the gas tank and I just hooked up the old line and it's flowing pretty well now. What I did to get it flowing is I use this master blaster thing I have here that works really well. And I put it down in here. Put my kind of finger around here so it has a nice seal. And then uh, turn it on for, you know, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds. Build up the pressure and uh, it's been flowing ever since. So I've been doing that here and there. So I'm gonna keep letting this flow out and then I'll probably just go ahead and put some new gas in the thing. So here's the old gas, and look at all that sediment in the bottom. I don't exactly know what that is. It almost looks kind of white, which is weird. But uh, yeah, there's old gas. Got about five and a half gallons of new stuff. We'll put a little bit in there and still flush it out a bit more and then uh, take it from there. I just got done doing the spark plugs on my F-250 here. And uh, here's the old ones. They actually look really decent. If anything, to me they almost look a little uh, lean. Uh, that's a carburetor thing, but I'll keep an eye on it. These are Autolite 46s, and I opted to get the 45s. Uh, that's the research I did. That's what was a good option for them. And I just did an oil change as well. The old filter was the worst thing I've ever tried to get out of a car. Yeah, that, 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 that's accurate. I legit could not get it no matter what I freaking did. Uh, even I used an old uh, trick, a ratchet strap around it and started to crush it and use that as a handle. And it, it, it was moving slightly, but it never could go until I finally hit it the other way and uh, 
it started to work. Oh, we're getting some smoke. We're getting some smoke. Where is that coming from? Oh, it's the first time I've noticed that. I'll have to look into that a little bit. Might be some oil blow by, I don't know. Anyways, here she is running. Sounds great, rides great. Totally thrilled with this thing.